subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. 100%. Actually, that's the only way for it to be treated. When you take uh, birth control pills or any other pills, it, uh, again, it, it does affect your hormones, right? Instead of, uh, like the best long-term solution would be to make lifestyle changes, which would be to work out regularly, to eat uh, the foods that actually give you the uh, nourishment that your body requires. And of course, uh, since you've already developed uh, either of the two conditions, there are certain foods that do trigger these hormones. So, uh, you will need to avoid that lifelong. Like, if you have mild case, it's very easy for it to get, be back on track. So, for a certain period, you just uh, say avoid dairy or uh, gluten. Well, it, uh, your doctor will probably be the best person to guide you as to what foods need to be avoided, depending on the uh, intensity of PCOS, PCOD or thyroid. And uh, you avoid it for a certain amount of time till your uh, hormones are regulated and then you can include it occasionally. But uh, there's also a lot of people come to me and say, oh, like, should carbs be avoided for PCOS? No, no food group should be avoided for any medical condition unless you're allergic to carbs altogether, which is quite a rare case. Like there are, it's an entire food group. You'll find something that works for you. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos by us.